So I flew to Austin probably about six months ago to be the keynote speaker on one of Bart's leadership uh, retreats for a big group. I think it was a YPO group or a vision group. And, and instead, usually when, I, when speakers come in, they deliver a speech and they leave. And he said, no, no, Michelle, stay. I said, I would love to stay to see how you do things differently. So I arrived on a Sunday night. I don't think I left until maybe Wednesday like, or Tuesday. And everything that Bart did focused around meaningful connection. So rather than the dinner where there's a speaker or there's, we you don't really go deep getting to know each other. He did Jeffersonian dinners where we had specific structured questions. And let me tell you, no one talked about business. We all went deep and personal. And that was the first night. And then the very next morning we got up and we went on a connection walk. And then we heard from a speaker occasionally, but rarely were we sitting down just receiving information. And if, if there was a moment like that, then he facilitated a way for us to discuss and grow. So tell us how in the world you came up with that. I mean, you really disrupted the stereotypical boondoggle type of meeting. Talk to us about that because it works. I just created meetings and experiences that I wanted to be part of. And, you know, being part of big companies, I would fly to these amazing destinations and you'd be inside and you'd be talked at for hours at a time. They'd give you a 10 minute break and you'd booze it up at the bar. And to me, some of the most valuable input was the 20 minute bus ride where you're sitting next to two other salespeople that also have the same struggles and challenges that you do. And they shared their ideas, thoughts, and best practices. It's like, why couldn't the whole meeting be that? So I just flipped the whole thing on its head. And uh, it happened to kind of organically. The first time I did it, this innovation summit for the eye care industry, it's just where I had a lot of connections. And I invited 30 CEOs and we mixed them with eight startups. And I wanted the startups to present their biggest challenge. And we got outside and I didn't know it was a connection walk at the time. I just, I called it a hike. And the first year I made it optional. And I think half the attendees came. But that became the best part of the meeting. So the next year, I didn't make it optional. It's like, you have to go. And by the third year, there were so many people that wanted to come to this event that it was, we had to limit attendance. And anybody that didn't go on the hike from the year before, they weren't invited back. And now it just becomes like, it was part of the thing. So a big part of what we do is called a connection hike or a connection walk. And you know it's a facilitated walk and you're walking shoulder to shoulder. It's something... Just like when I met Elizabeth Krauss, something special happens because I say that motion creates emotion. And if you can get to the emotion and the feeling, that's where you get powerful connections and you get beyond the superficial. 